All right, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Kali Linux 2.0 rolling tools into the latest Ubuntu 16.04. And the first thing you should probably do if you don't have it already is to install the Synaptic Package Manager. I spelled that wrong. Go ahead and install that. And now that we have that, uh, another thing to do is just make sure your Ubuntu is up to date before we start doing all this other stuff. Uh, do you do? Let me make sure it's got to be all right. I'll go ahead and update that. Then once that's up to date, we'll go ahead and um, in the security software and security updates. Uh, in here, where's on the updates, you want to make sure that this is on display immediately. When there are security updates, make sure it's on display immediately and not download automatically or download and install automatically. Because once you add the Kali Linux repository, it might try to download that stuff automatically or install it automatically and break your Ubuntu installation. So just make sure this is on display immediately. And we'll go ahead and close that. And then the next thing we'll do is to add the Linux, Kali Linux repository to Ubuntu. We'll open that back up. And I have that right here to show you guys. <clears throat> and right here, we'll go ahead and copy and paste that. And I'll add it here. Paste it. And you might want to pause it here if you want to go ahead and type that in and do that. Go ahead and add the source. So that's added. <clears throat> then the next thing you want to do is to add the authentication key uh, for the Kali Linux repositories. And I'll go ahead and close out of that for now because I don't have that there. I'll reload that. Now it's going to have to reload the Kali Linux repositories. That might take a minute. Right here I have what you need to put into the terminal to get the authentication key and have it imported into there. So I copy that and go ahead and move out of that. And I'll go to the terminal here and I'll paste that. I don't know why they don't have control V. It doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> so let's paste in there. And this is what you gotta type in there if you want to pause it. Go ahead and do that. And oops, I forgot something. It's not gonna work with that. Pseudo. Go ahead and Alright, it should be imported. That should be in there now. find out if it's in there it should be in there and now we have our Kali Linux authentication key and another thing I'll do right now is just to turn this off for right now turn off all the uh, Ubuntu repositories for right now while we're installing the Kali Linux repositories and go ahead and do that and it will reload that All right, and we'll open the Synaptic Package Manager we downloaded. <clears throat> and for this example, I'll just install, I will install the uh, 
stress testing tools for this example. So here you can go to the website here and it has a listing of all the Kali Linux tools that you can install. Um, so you can go to tools.kali.org forward slash tools dash listing. So go back down to the stress testing and I'll install the stress testing tools. And I'll just do a search. It's the quickest way to do it that I know of. DHC PIG. And you can see it says Kali Linux or Kali here. And that's how you'll know that it's part of the Kali Linux repository. Um, go ahead and mark that one. Funk load is the next one. So, funk load. Search for that. I don't know why all these don't say uh, Kali. Maybe it's part of the. It doesn't say that. Uh, go ahead and install the documentation for it. And that's Kali Vio. Voice over IP flutter tool, mark for installation. And one data. I must have spelled it wrong. Nope. Maybe it's an L. I can't find that one. Invite flood. Maybe it's not in part of the package anymore. Invite flood. Mark that for installation. IP version 6 toolkit. Mark that for installation. MDK3, MDK3, Reaver. I'm just installing the tools that's listed on their website. And getting close to getting all the packages for for the stress testing. And I think I have this tool already. That's installed already. And THC SSL. And that's installed already. So that's all the packages for the stress testing, except for one I couldn't find. Um, so go ahead and apply that. And here, uh, to know that you're not going to break your Ubuntu installation, it shouldn't say to be removed here. As long as it doesn't say to be removed, I think you're probably going to be OK. Um, so we'll go ahead and apply that. Install stress testing tools. <clears throat> and that's it. That's all the stress testing tools from Kali Linux installed. So I'll go ahead and exit out of this and let's see if I can find one of them like uh, Reaver. Uh, let's see. So it's not there. 
Let's try it here. So there's Reaver. As you can see, I have the tool on here now, and that's how you install the tools. And once you're done installing the tools that you want, you want to make sure you go into here and uncheck the Kali Linux repository because when you go to update Ubuntu you don't want it updating with all the Kali Linux stuff and breaking your Ubuntu installation so you can recheck those and um, when you want to update your tools and see if there's any updates just recheck the Kali Linux and go ahead and uncheck the Ubuntu ones and then you can go back into um, let's go ahead and do that Might take a second, but once you, if you want to go back and check to update your tools, let's go back into here and see what's been installed manually and look for your Kali Linux tools and see if there's any updates for them. And that's how you can update them and keep them up to date. So I'll go ahead and close out of that. I'll go back into the software updates and I will uncheck the Kali Linux, like as I said before. You don't want to break and get when you up, update Ubuntu. So I'll re, go ahead and recheck all the Ubuntu stuff. And go ahead and close out of that. And that might take a while to reload. But that's it. That's how you do it. And that's all there is to it.